Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Saturday night episode. F-18 building action, baby. Alright guys, I've been working. No loafing here, man. I got, um, uh, the flaps and ailerons cut off the wings. I got my, my Uncle Wood added on the back. I got the leading edges. Playing down, I made a video today, guys, but I didn't like it, so I didn't load it. That's <laughs> I've been doing some experimenting here, and this is just one of my glutton for punishment deals. <laughs> but uh, I I texted Kevin the other day and asked him if anyone was putting uh, leading edge slats on these. And uh, uh, a couple people have. Now I've been thinking, you know, the thing I don't like about the leading edge slat is you're going to have to have a, a gap in the bottom of the wing. See, on the tight, on the top, I can make it fit tight. I put the hinge on the bottom side of the skin. But this is what I came up with on the bottom. You see that? It's got a little bit of a gap there, but after I've been studying it, I know how I can get rid of that gap totally. Just by extending this piece of wood a little bit and shortening this one, I could get them like that. If I make this arm a, a little bit more of a lever, it'll t it, it drops out of the way just as soon as it moves. And I'll let this slide in. That's what I've kind of been studying. And uh, if I can make that gap list. The only thing though, you won't be able to pick it up by the front of the wing, which you probably shouldn't anyway. Well, I've been experimenting, Kevin. I know this wasn't part of the deal. See, that's all the throw you need right there. <coughs> <coughs> When I was talking to old Joe Price one time, and he told me, he said, Bob, if I had my choice, if I had leading edge slats or flaps, he said he would take the leading edge slats any day. You know, and, uh, man, what do you think, Kevin? It wasn't part of our deal, though, but we could be talking bonus. <laughs> you guys, see what I got to do. <coughs> what I got to do. Is I got to cut a little wedge out of this kind of L-shaped, and then sheet it with my fiberglass. All that's got to be sheeted on the inside. It's a lot of extra work, man. I don't know. And uh, I would just um, have to add one servo right here and uh, make an internal linkage. Well, this is just my little mock up. This is the part I cut off the rudder. Remember that? And then I cut the back of it off to patch the. Rudder that Trixie Boot <laughs> destroyed, and I had this piece left over. Now, this is a lot more of an angle than the wing would be, but it's just a kind of a proof of concept deal. But I think I can make that and pretty much make it gapless, Kevin. See, because it's almost gapless now. Almost. You know? Well, 
You know, I don't know. Let me know what you think, Kev. I think from the top, it'll look real good, man. It'll look just like another panel line. But anyway, all right. So this is what I figured out in the flaps. I, was, I went to pick this wing up, guys, and I, and I grabbed it right there. <laughs> thing just went snap, just broke right out of there. That stuff's pretty soft. I'm going to take a piece out of this and chop it right there. Uh, no big deal. But see, I got to cut kind of a, I had to do this here. You see that? Okay. I got, see, when you, when you do this, guys, with two separate wings, you don't want to get your parts confused because it's kind of hard to tell up from down, right from left. So I take, I got two markers. I got a red one and a blue one. I mark on the bottom of all my parts. See this blue one goes to this wing. It's got a blue mark here, blue mark here. Aileron's got a blue mark there. See, so that was, that was the bottom of this wing. And we'll be able to see that mark even after I glass it. So we'll know which one goes to which. Um, once they're sanded, the leading edges are sanded, that be easier to tell. But even this one here, see I got a red mark on the bottom of this. That's how I made to fit it. You know, it won't fit like that, but I don't know which one's for which wing because these were not supplied with the kit. I know I didn't use them on nothing else, but they wasn't in there, so I had to cut these out of some stock I had. And um, but that's what the plans call for. The book that goes like that. Then you all we also got to take. Um, cut chunks out of here where the hinges go. This gets them big old scale hinges on the bottom. Now chop out that foam and glue a piece of wood in there. Even go inside the flap a little bit. One in the center and one here. Seeing it tapers different thicknesses. So I have to do them all different thicknesses. But this goes here. Okay, after I get them wood pieces in there, I can glue this on. And then this one goes on the end. Bam. I know what you're thinking, well, Bob, why'd you have to do that? <laughs> because of the shape this leading edge is going to have. See, it's not a round in the center. It comes up like this, you know. It's got a... It'll be sanded like that. Kind of... My heart ain't that good tonight. It'll be kind of like that. So that's why these blocks have to be put in there because if we sand that much off, it'll be foam. But that's why them blocks get put in there like that. That one's ready except for the wood. I'm gonna cut this one real right quick. Okay. I'll show you how to do it. It goes on the top. I'm gonna put that right there. Like so. I always work on my foam blocks too. That keeps my rough old table from getting up the foam. Yeah. The ones that I save all the way through the project. Put my straight edge behind it. I don't like to use this one with the sandpaper on it because it don't slip. Know what I mean there, bro? I think uh, this is actually nice getting pretty dull too and getting new one.
Okay. I'm trying to take it all in one chunk. Especially with that foam. We want a nice clean cut to make a big blue joint. Okay. Just cut freestyle. Oh, well, that's the Calvin was at the farm field all day today. Well, when was the bad crosswind today? I didn't want to go. I think about going tomorrow. It's supposed to be a, a 10 mile an hour breeze straight out to the south. I'm to clean up that edge a little bit. We'll get some more flights on the F4. I'm gonna work on a couple maneuvers. I thought that looked a little thick out there. way but it don't fit this way it just, you know what I mean <laughs> just the way it goes just like that in my shop too just like that in yours close to the right shape with just the plane. And then we use the sand there to clean it up. Bam, but I'm gonna keep going guys. I'm gonna make another keep on working a little bit tonight. Maybe make another video or two and charge some batteries on the F4. And never know, I might head to the farm field tomorrow afternoon. Supposed to be nice, about 65, about a 10 mile an hour breeze straight out to the south. It's gonna be winter for long, ain't gonna be able to do this very much longer, so might have to go sneak in a couple flights. But I'll be back, I'll make y'all another video tonight. So we'll see you back in the shop. Seeing Bob Time, seeing Bob Station.